and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And today we're going to be discussing APE, BBBY, AVYA, HUSA, NINE, INDO, IMPP, GBR, ENSV, GXXY, GEGI, BMIX, DSGT, BRDS, and NERV. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion is meant for informational and education purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Uh, first up, a little running a little late today with uh, tonight's video, but I'm glad I am running late as news is hitting the tape here about 9 o'clock Eastern that Bed Bath & Beyond has secured $375 million in financing. This is great, great news. Uh, this was the bear's argument was that the company was on the verge of bankruptcy. It couldn't pay its suppliers. That argument has been avoided. Uh, and we are seeing, uh, we were going to see some fireworks tomorrow as this really gets everyone excited about Bed Bath & Beyond. Everyone was worried that Ryan Cohen saw it as a sinking ship and he was abandoning uh, that ship and uh, running with his tail between his legs. But we think uh, that uh, we're going to get another squeeze. And, you know, we got to commend management for uh, going the traditional way. Uh, route of raising financing and not doing an offering and not doing a rug pull on its shareholder base. So again, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, there's a lot to like here and we're, uh, we're expecting uh, uh, some fireworks tomorrow in Bed Bath & Beyond. Ape is another one. Uh, I said you need to close above seven. We did. Uh, we're bidding higher in the after hours, expecting more action here in Ape tomorrow. Uh, overall, I, I think right now people are going to be playing Ape over AMC. So I think Ape is the better bet than uh, AMC. We talked about yesterday our number one short squeeze penny stock was AVYA, closed up 38%. Congrats to all who caught the move in AVYA. And so that you don't miss any of these alerts, make sure you click that link in the description. We send out all of our reports between 9 a.m. and 9.30 Eastern. Uh, sign up link is in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Sign up with your email and your mobile number. Mobile, it works for all numbers world. Wide, simply enter your country code code first followed by your number for us and canada to be one plus area code and number and remember guys we run a completely free service we do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever when you sign up with your email and your mobile you also get you get all of our free reports and you also get the free insider financial guide to penny stocks Next up, guys, I told, said yesterday in uh, the video that uh, oil and gas names are going to start squeezing higher, uh, and we are seeing that today uh, follow through. So it was a prescient call uh, in yesterday's video, and I see this uh, continuing. Uh, first up, it's HUSA, closed up 13%. Uh, we're bidding 518 in the after hours. NINE uh, was the only one, uh, ended up down 3%, no big deal. Uh, but INDO, more than made up for the, the small loss in INEE uh, with a closing up 49%. We're also bidding 1171 by 1188 in the after hours. We really like INDO. Congrats who caught this move in INDO. Next up, uh, we have three oil and gas names that uh, we uh, uh, think can squeeze higher also. In addition to uh, uh, these other three, we're, uh, we're looking at IMPP, uh, GBR, and ENSV. So these are three oil and gas names, penny stocks, that uh, we think can uh, make another move higher. Next up, guys, two that we talked about on InsiderFinancial.com, uh, four OTC stocks on the, on the rise, HVCW, GEGI, DPLs, 
and GXXY uh, both uh, closing uh, higher. GXXY up 12%. GEGI, this is one is is all over OTC FinTwit. A lot of smart money behind this one closed up 29%. Uh, just under the penny mark uh, tomorrow. Uh, let's get this uh, GEGI over a penny and keep this run going. There's a lot of catalysts, a lot of smart money in this play. So uh, if it's not on your radar screen, get it on your radar screen now and also go to insiderfinancial.com and read our full report our report on GEGI uh, next up guys is BMIX big PR drop today uh, they acquired four lithium uh, properties totaling just just over 9,400 acres. Uh, this is a significant addition. If you look at the map here, uh, this was their uh, property before. In yellow is the new uh, property. So this is a major, major expansion of their footprint. BMIX is primarily a lithium company with projects in other battery and critical metals such as nickel, rare earths, rare earths graphite, and titanium. In addition, Brazilian, Brazil Minerals owns equity stakes in both Apollo Resources Corporation, a private company developing its first iron mine, and Jupiter Gold Corporation, a publicly listed company developing a quartzite mine and advancing two gold projects. And, uh, you know, the best part is this is a QB with just a $36 million market cap. So, again, the EV revolution is here. It's here to stay. Lithium is a, uh, a requirement. And uh, with lithium plays are hot. Uh, we do, we've been covering all the lithium names. Uh, BMXI is certainly one to own. For more uh, lithium plays like BMXI, click that link in the description. Uh, we're always on the lookout for new lithium plays for our subscribers. Next up is DSGT. This is another EV play. Uh, put out big news earlier this month. 117% uh, revenue growth in Q2. Um, and this one has just been climbing up the charts this month from four cents to uh, over 16 cents, up over 400%. Congrats who caught the move in DSGT. Uh, again, re this is one here that we really like and trading at just a $16 million market cap. Uh, next up is BRDS, another EV play, uh, news out after hours. Uh, they secured permit for uh, expansion, uh, expanding to new cities with their EV uh, uh, scooters uh, and uh, uh, e-bikes. Uh, so certainly BRDS were uh, uh, closed at 43 cents. We're bidding 59 cents in the after hours, uh, expecting some fireworks tomorrow. And the best part is the 200-day moving average is not until just under three bucks. So we got a lot of room here. Uh, this one can run before we run into any significant resistance. Lastly, guys, is NERV. Uh, this is just a $24 million bar market cap. Uh, Hitting scanners overnight, uh, trading at 590 in the after hours. Uh, the 200-day moving average is 539. I think we're we're going to blast through that in in the, <clears throat> in the pre-market, and uh, we're going to really get some action here going in NERV. Uh, what's also interesting about this one is it's got eight dollars and fifty cents in cash and no debt. So uh, NERV, which is the five million share flow, twenty twenty six million dollar market cap. Uh, there's a lot to like with this one, and I think we're going to see some fireworks in NERV tomorrow. And again, uh, for all of our uh, pre-market reports, uh, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Sign up with your email and your mobile number so you don't miss any of our pre-market reports. We prepare full reports uh, between 9 a.m. and 9.30 uh, for, uh, for all of our subscribers so that you get a sense of what is going to be happening and what you should be paying attention to that each trading day. All right, guys, I want to wish everyone good luck on uh, Wednesday. Happy hump day. Let's make some money. And I'll be coming live to you tomorrow after the bell with a new update. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.